welcome to the Sinks YouTube channel. Today I'm going to read a nuke to the game of the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. Now this game has been out for roughly about nearly two years now, nearly three years. But this game is quite tricky actually. Um, actually to get used to the game and then understanding like everything of the game. It's yeah, it's quite quite um quite hard to understand. Like to get pretty much getting used to the game really. It's like finding all the weapons and it's like actually trying to put on these weapons, these new ones that you find. And then like trying to uh, like upgrade which ones upgrade. It's really confusing. But I guess once you've done it after a while then you can understand the what to do. But uh, me and my mate got this. It's a free game on Xbox in December. So, well, this month pretty much. So I would recommend getting it because it is free. So you might as well. It is an action role playing game. So if you're into them games then yeah you might as well. But yeah, it is single player as well if you don't want to play with your friends whatever, it is single player. And multiplayer, it does get harder with the more friends you have, it's up to four people. But yeah, saying that, uh, the loading screens take forever to load up. And some of the monsters, like at the start, it's quite easy, blah blah. And then once you get to this part, pretty much it just, go, it just goes mental. It literally goes impossible and you have to train like a thousand monsters or whatever the hell they are. But after, apart from that, um, the game's quite good, really. Um, I know it's like, it, basically one thing is you just got to get used to all the mechanics in the game and like how, why, where the hood is, upgrading your companion, upgrading you, using your special abilities, using like all this mana that you have and rage and it's like trying to understand what all these things do and then which, using like your knowledge to w know which weapons to put on like which your special abilities work more towards and then going into more detail on them special abilities and upgrading them further and further and it, oh, it's, oh, it's it's really confusing but if you've never heard of Van Helsing before then go watch the movie pretty much he's a vampire slayer pretty much in a way um, but apart from that it is pretty cool now the game, like I said before, it did come out two years ago and it is a free game, so I would literally go get it. It is free. Now obviously this part that we're in now, you can see my mate, we just get absolutely annihilated. Uh, that like pearl thing is spawned then, it does like heal us. Obviously you run out of like health portions really really quick, so it's quite annoying like trying to find all your stuff, but we pretty much we just went into this area, died like a hundred times. And then look, I'm like seeing what to upgrade, I, I really don't know, so I just keep upgrading that one like ability thing. Uh, it's just one of them like, oh, I just keep upgrading this, I'll keep upgrading that, 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 that. But really, apart from that, it's really hard. And then we found like a little glitch in it as well where we both went through the like the door at the same time, but it spawned two of him in. It was quite weird. I don't know why. Like, it spawned like another person in. That was my friend. But he was, he was already moving around out, but there was another version of him. Now as you can see, this, this place just starts to get hectic. And as you can see, the bottom left is health and mana. There's a little like health portion symbol in the bottom, bottom left. And above that is like where you can switch your weapons. And then on the right side with the blue, like the blue part is your mana. And you have the like, mana portions. And then the right side, obviously I die because it's like mental. Um, you can spawn wherever you want really, you can spawn for free back at the main village uh, cheaper to spawn at the last checkpoint or cost as much as you can to spawn directly where you are and then you'd pretty much spawn in as a ghost now I was going back to before going bottom right is pretty much your weapons and your special abilities but apart from that it is it's, it's a good game I like, I like the concept of it but it's just too complicated for me to understand and I am literally a noob and I keep dying at this game so well, that's all I can say about this game really, um, it is a free game so you might as well go get it either way, but thanks for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out.